Colorado investors are moving their money to cheaper markets, and that's what we're going to talk about. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Old Wise TV, and today we're working with Colorado folks, right? My man, Rainey. You're an investor out there in Colorado, but you don't want to buy property in Colorado, dude. The pricing is too crazy high. The politics, meh, we don't really need to get into that, but there are, you know what I'm saying, bro? Landlord-tenant issues out there. Woo! All right. So, because of that, you decided to move your money to other markets. Markets where you can get a bigger bang for your buck. Markets where you can get in for a much lower cost and theoretically achieve a higher return on investment. One of those markets, the markets I am an expert in. Cleveland, Ohio, brother. Over $200 million worth of real estate I've sold in Cleveland, Ohio. We run the largest scattered site rental portfolio. My team, we're going to help you with property management, maintenance, brokerage services, construction, I don't know, tenant lease. You name it, we do it, dude. You need one phone number for Cleveland, and it's 216-661-6633, which, by the way, if you're not rainy and you're watching the show when it gets published live to Holton Wise TV, give us a call. We'll talk to you about how you can get videos like his. Now, rainy. We've done a lot of videos together, right? And uh, pretty much most of which you're getting outbid, right? You're finding that on all these Cleveland properties you're you're bidding on. The the competition's intense, dude. There's just a whole bunch of people outbidding you, right? And one thing we can do, a strategy I like to do when I get somebody who's uh, being outbid too often, is we could look at other properties that maybe are being overlooked, right? One of those is properties that have been on the market for an extended period of time, a time longer than they should have been because they're overpriced. Sometimes sellers will overprice their property because they think it's going to get them more money. In reality, it doesn't, dude. If you overprice your property, uh, what typically happens is you sell for a lower price than if you would have just priced it correctly in the first place, right? Because then you start to get this thought process that maybe nobody wants your house. And they would want your house or your property but if you just priced it right, but you didn't. So that's why they don't want it. So sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I see them uh, being very ready, willing, and able to accept ridiculously low ball offers, right? Offers much lower than you'd think they would accept because after being on the market for so long, they really start to feel nervous about the desirability of their uh, property, right? So that is exactly what I'm going to look at for you right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers on this quad, all right? This is a solid deal, folks. But there's some things that have to happen to get it done, right? To get it to make sense, okay? 1623 Hopkins Avenue, Lakewood, 44107. It's been on the market almost two months now, 47 days. The price, $309,905. Now, let's talk about this quads number one i love quads i think a quad is the very best investment a person can ever get especially if they're a new investor reason being you can use a 30-year residential loan a 30-year residential loan is by far the best financing product you can get the best way to invest the best way to stretch your funds is with the residential mortgage it's a 10 or i'm sorry it's a 30 year loan it's got a fixed interest rate a low interest rate it's tax deductible you only get 10 of them though right, that's where that 10 came from you only get 10 so i recommend you folks get your first residential mortgage on your personal home then use the remaining nine on investment properties always take care of home base first if you get nine single family mortgages nine single family homes with your nine residential mortgages you get nine rental income checks a month if you take those same nine residential mortgages and you get nine four-unit apartment buildings, you get 36 rental income checks a month. 
can't be beaten. As soon as you go up to the five-unit apartment building, you no longer qualify for this 30-year loan. You have to do commercial financing, and it's, it's a whole mess. You don't get 30-year terms. It's a problem. Four units, the best. As far as neighborhoods go, this is Lakewood, Ohio. I would say the east end of Lakewood, Ohio is a B-grade neighborhood. That's where this is at. As you trail further west, it actually turns into an A-grade neighborhood. Lakewood is one of, if not the most popular market, sub-market in the Cleveland market in regards to renters. You do not have like long-term vacancy in Lakewood, dude. You put your property on the market, you got a line of people trying to apply for it within days, within hours. Incredibly high demand space. There's a lot of nightlife. It's very trendy. People love Lakewood, okay? So this is a B-grade property. Lakewood itself is half B, half A, right? So I love all that. Properties fly within minutes of being listed. They go boom, 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 multiple offers, which leads me to the next point I want to make. Very important point. This has been on the market for 47 days. If quads are awesome and Lakewood is awesome and properties fly, why has this been on the market for so long? Because that price is stupid. 309905 That price don't make no sense. It's a great property. It's a very nice property. But it ain't $300,000. Nice, right? Okay. As we cruise through the photos, we got two units here that have been rehabbed looking good, right? Everything's looking nice on this. This one is one of the dated units. But we have some nice upgraded units right everything is looking fly here okay so the property itself is awesome but it's not three hundred nine thousand dollars awesome okay what we need to do is position ourselves with a low ball offer on this one two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is what i think this property is really worth two hundred and fifty thousand dollars the current rent roll two thousand five hundred ninety eight very close to market rent two thousand five hundred ninety eight that's a schedule of 31176 As far as uh, what comes in for uh, of that 31176 we have to add in our fixed and variable expense estimates, right? So 31176 is scheduled to come in. 18425 is scheduled to go out as far as our expenses, right? We have repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? We have our taxes, okay? Insurance, water, sewer, lawn care, right? What you see there, right? The 1558 for each of those top three lines, that's not money you're actually spending. That is money that uh, <clears throat> is coming back to you now why we're fully occupied and there's no major issues but what you have to understand is there's going to be issues down the road right you're going to eventually replace furnaces furnaces last 30 years they cost three grand hot water tanks cost a thousand you got to replace those every 15 years roofs it's like an eight thousand dollar roof you got to replace that every 30 years right so you're saving that money for that when tenants do move out you got to upgrade the units right so that's going to be several thousand dollars you don't do that until they move out but you know eventually they're going to move out, right? Even though Lakewood's in high demand, people don't live in your houses forever, guys. This is multifamily investing, right? This is rental properties. If they wanted to live there for a very long time, they'd probably buy a house. But even if people buy a house, folks, you got to understand, they sell their homes on average every seven years. So turnovers are part of the game. So we account for all that, right? So your clear NOI should be 12750 At a price point of 250 k you put down 62 and a half. Bank kicks in 187 on that beautiful 30-year mortgage. That would be approximately a 5.2% and a 5 cash on cash return, right? Now, for those of you investing in Cleveland looking for the ultra-sexy numbers, you ain't going to get them in a neighborhood this nice, right? If you want to Get higher paper cash on cash returns. We got to go to a higher level of risk, right? We got to hit C grade neighborhoods. As far as the price point that I think this property's worth and what the seller is trying to get, three hundred nine thousand nine hundred five dollars. I think the seller's a little crazy on that, right? Uh, my team actually sold this property to uh, this particular seller several years ago, right? And we did some management for him. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if we're still managing it. I don't recall. I don't typically touch base on a day-to-day -day basis, basis with my management team, but given that uh, we are not the sales team on this one, I would assume that management agreement ended at some point. What I can tell you, though, is from what I know, this investor, when we sold it to them, he paid 
much less than what the property is currently worth. Okay, we've seen a lot of uh, prices going up, right? We've seen a lot of appreciation in the Cleveland market over the last few years. You're seeing that all over the country, right? So it might seem totally crazy to get him to take an offer that's $60,000 less than his list price, but I know for a fact that that will still net him a very large profit, so he might be uh, enticed to do that. And if he doesn't, that's okay. That's the highest offer I think makes sense, and we move on to other properties, folks. That's what the name of the game is, right? It's doing due diligence on properties, putting out our best offer, and if sellers take it, great. If they don't, we don't want to overpay. We simply move on to the next property. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.